YouTube. What's good? It's your boy B Bold RC, and I'm back with yet another video. And y'all know what time it is, man. It's Saturday, and y'all know what Saturday means. Shoe drops on shoe drops on shoe drops on more shoe drops. So as you guys can see the fit already, navy, white, and little green. You guys can probably already guess the shoe I'm gonna be going for today. And we had some other releases today too, like uh, the Kith and Naked NMDs. You had the OG Air Max 1s release as well. And those went crazy, both of those sold out. So I'm gonna talk about those a little bit. I also got some sample stuff to show you guys. What's dropping today from sample, I gotta show you that. Some pickups from Atlanta, and probably just show off some of the stuff that actually got up for sale Bulls Bodega because I had like a little bit of a snippet in yesterday's video, but it was like way at the end, so maybe people didn't see it. But before we get into all of this, it's time right now to hit the mall. Time to go cop these shoes. Right now, I think it's about 1, 1 1.30. Mall open up at 10. I'm thinking that people slept on these. They slept on the stealth, so these shouldn't be too hard to get. Hopefully, I don't walk in there and take an L. I don't think I'm taking an L, though, today because this shoe is probably one of the most ugly Jordans in people's opinion, so I think I should be good. I think we should be good. Anyways, hit list aside, let's get it. A few moments later. Oh, and actually today's shoe is gonna be uh, the trophy rooms. I know the blue is a little off. It's not really matching, but it's whatever. It's fine, it's fine. They'll do, they'll do. Alright y'all, we are in the whip, beautiful Saturday afternoon, and just letting y'all know, I'm pretty sure I'll be back with you guys at some point, but I am no longer part of Rejection Sticker Boys, got the new tire, so no longer part of your team, but I'm pretty sure at some point in the future I'll be back on Rejection Sticker Boys. Y'all already know my tire had a nail in it or some dumb shit, but we got it fixed. We are certified and ready to ride legally on the streets not illegally so all these people that was commenting go get your car fixed bull i even got your car fixed what never mind never mind never mind because i was about to i was about to go in nope i'm not gonna do that today let's i'm enjoying my day let's get it We are live on location at the mall. So, like I said, Obsidian Fort 15s is the mission today. I'm pretty sure we should be good, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure people are sleeping on these because 15s is one of those shoes that if you're not really fucking with them, you really, really not fucking with them. So, we're about to head in here. I'll probably run through a few other shops. Just see what they got. Stop by Commonwealth to see if they got anything new in stock and bring you guys with me. So, just trying not to get hit by a car right now. So, give me a second. See y'all in a few. Put a motherfucking face on a white tee. That's what a nigga get being PIE. Alright, guys. So, I know I usually go in foot action first. That's usually the first spot I go into. But this time, I'm gonna do it like reverse. I'm probably gonna go to. Maybe I should start in the back. So, go to Champs. DTLR maybe you just it's kind of hard to record in DTLR though because they they kind of just hover a little bit so we'll see um, I did see the 15s though they did have them so we're gonna see what happens a few moments later Sweet nigga you D I E sleep motherfucker that six feet deep no tender no love no care but a nigga here still gon' cry T L C put it to your lips alone that's a nigga left I kill a nigga get ghost all right y'all just came out of Foot Locker they had your regular suspects Jordan's still in there heavy royalty black hats like. The black hat sixes, all star sixes, all star sixes. Basically, I came to this conclusion: they made a million of those things. They put them everywhere, and they're 225. That's why they sat. Anyways, I'm about to head into champs. So give me a second. Same thing, man. Sixes, royalty fours, yo. The Cyber Monday threes from last year. Can they please just evaporate? 
like why they are still in places for like 150 i'm pretty sure they're gonna go maybe below 100 by the time that are all gone they'll probably go under 100 but we'll see so next spot is let's see we went to champs foot locker commonwealth buddies taking a break so we're gonna have to come back to that store so i guess maybe we'll run into pack sun and i think there's one more store before we go into foot action so we'll see in a second all right y'all so we pulled in the pack sun i'm seeing that now they have champion too they're stocking it like nice little lightweight pullovers some other stuff over here i might be like fog or something i don't know but y'all see that they Paxon has now joined uh, Champion, so <laughs> I don't know how much longer Champion has at this point. Like they, they kind of blew up really fast. People started wearing it again very, very fast. I mean, the real ones will stay, but I mean, why they're remaking these too? Like <sighs> they're remaking everything. So I just seen this. I'm letting y'all know right now. If you got like original old starter. I'm just telling y'all, might as well go ahead and get your wear out of it because Starter's trying to come back strong. Y'all see, they got Cavalier baseball jerseys, Bulls baseball jerseys, and these are brand new in Paxson. So, if you got the OG stuff, you might, it might, you might have to put it to, uh, might have to put it to rest for a little bit because uh, Starter's trying to come back. Some slices of hub jack is pretty nice too, but there you go, vintage. Venture stuff's coming back. There it is, guys. First purchase. Now let's go get these kicks. Hi, right, y'all. So we pulled into foot action. They don't have an 11 and a half, but they do have a 12. So I'm gonna go ahead and cop this ring right here. Um, pretty, pretty true size. As long as fit goes, pretty true size. Elo man back there. But yeah, yo, these joints way 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 better on feet trust me okay if you get them you can go true to size if not you probably could go you could go a half size down but they're probably gonna be tight right up here in the toe area but yo these joints on feet in hand definitely better than the cell colorway just navy blue and white looks good just just look at these joints just look at it and since it was my birthday i got a 25 dollar off coupon so below retail thank you below retail yep Y'all know how it goes, dog. Every time, okay? Every time, okay? And you wanna know something? This is actually a quick strike. When I went in there, I was trying to use my coupon. I couldn't even use my coupon because it's actually a quick strike release. I mean, it is a higher number, so the hype ain't there, so I guess you would lower numbers on production, I guess. Just to kind of drive sales a little bit. But now I'm about to go head back to Commonwealth. If it's not open, then we're going back home because I need some teriyaki chicken. Flame Japan, I need that, I need that. So give me a second. I don't take kind of the dress, take kind of the dress. Ratchet for life, I'm hood. Trying to smoke bad, but I'm good. Bust a nigga head for the cake. Jumping over gates, can't wait. All right, y'all, so I know I didn't like get a lot of footage. I just saw this Converse and Fragment joints, but I did. It's, it's, it's another bag. An another one. Another one. Not to the face, fuck nigga, you ain't safe. All right, y'all, so last pickup I got to get is this white Levi's jacket because the one I got from H&M is a little bit snug on me right now, and they have this on jacked. Okay, so we're back. Okay, so listen, I didn't expect to get all this, so let's get through it. I'm gonna just go ahead and save this for last because you already know what that is. So bag number one right here is from PacSun. You guys saw that I did pick up this champion pullover, like lightweight anorak, don't need the backs. So I got a little bit of footage of this when I was actually in the mall, but it's just a lightweight pullover hood, basically, kind of like a lightweight rain jacket. Just has champion in script in the front in 3M, and that's about it. Has a little flat back here with a mesh behind it. Um, I was actually talking with Tony to make a jacket similar to this um, for the spring and summer. Just something lightweight that you can toss on if it's raining and you're not gonna like die of like heat exhaustion in this. So that's the first pickup. I think it was like 55 bucks. Not, not too bad. Bag number two I got from Macy's and what I was trying to explain to you before my camera died um, was that they got these jackets and I think a, a, a couple other 
like lightweight trucker jackets on jack threads and um, I just got this one because I was probably gonna wear it tonight and I'm gonna just order off a jack thread save the receipt and then return the jack thread one I mean slight slight jig slight jug something like that some light but they had this on sale for like 69 bucks instead of like I think it's usually like 90 in Macy's and they finally had my size the last time I went in there they didn't have my size but it's your regular all white Levi's trucker jacket. Like I said, they had these on Jack Threads as well. I'm not sure if they're on sale on Macy's.com, but if you go into your local mall, they should be on sale. You know, just like another great thing to have for like spring and summer, another lightweight jacket, and I need a new white denim jacket because my H&M one is kind of underneath like the armpit. It's like kind of, I don't know, when I try to wear a hoodie under, it doesn't fit too well. Don't need that. And last up, but definitely not least, another pickup from Commonwealth. You guys see me going there all the time. That's where they had those Converse and Fragment collabs, and they had the Slam Jam. Um, A6 gel my in there too. I was surprised that they got that but you guys have seen this same shirt before just in olive green um, This was another one of the colorways. This was a navy blue all over navy blue just says Commonwealth on the front and almost like this felt feel to it um, Like I said you guys have seen this in another pickup video. It was just green same thing on the back for the greater good on the back and once again I'm probably gonna wear this tonight <laughs> if you guys can't tell I was kind of putting a fit together something something slight for tonight so that's the two things I got right there and then next up and final we have this Air Jordan 15 retro apparently this was a quick strike which is why I could not use my birthday coupon for this and in this really weird box with this really weird insert is the obsidian Air Jordan 15 these joints for sure look way 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 better on feet and in person probably than like pictures especially on feet when you see these they look big they look clunky they look like Decepticons basically these look like some transformer robotic like really sharp shoes like especially the top and I know the 15 is like a weird shoe I know a lot of people probably look at this and be like eh, man, I can't really get jiggy with those I cannot maneuver in those they just look too bulky too big they just look ugly basically they just look ugly it's just something about them they're ugly but it's something about them that you like I feel like just looking in the camera like this little screen I'm looking at right now I can just see the color combination the way that the colors break down in this shoe and just some of the aspects of the 15 this colorway is probably one of the best also quality wise too on mine you guys can see it's not nothing really crazy going on no crazy glue or nothing like that the leather looks nice it's just a really great ugly pair of Air Jordans that I like. The weird stuff, the weird shit, the weird shoes. So for me, someone who doesn't have 15s, if I'm gonna own any 15, it's gonna be these ones. So since all the pickups are out of the way, I got a few more quick details I wanna share with you guys, and then we're out of here. First off, flannels. You guys have been seeing me wear them, Tony wear them. They release March 18th at 8 p.m. for 80 bucks. 80 bucks. And if you're asking why they retail for 80 bucks, I'm gonna show you, hold on. I saw a few people talking about the price on this one. So I just wanted to show this. This is a Supreme plaid flannel, no embroidery, regular flannel shirt, 118 bucks. Regular flannel, just with Supreme attached, 118. And do y'all see that? Sold out. And no shots at Supreme, and no we aren't Supreme, but I just needed you to understand where we're coming from. Plus, I mean, I gotta have Supreme box over there with some new stuff anyways, I'm gonna show y'all later. So we got four colors coming out. This is the white colorway. Sample on the back, all embroidered. It's like a lightweight jacket because it's not a regular flannel t-shirt. The inside is a satin silk. The white is pink. Since all the other colorways are a little bit different, like this is the regular white and black, I wanted to give this one its own little different detail. So the inside is pink. Of course it has custom sample flannel tags on the inside. Little side pocket for the wallet or wherever you want to toss in there. And it is a zippered flannel jacket, okay? Like I said, four colors. We got red right here, same details. The blue joint right here is going to go really well with Royals when they come out probably plus like the uh, the motorsports as well So we got the blue joint and then my personal favorite is the green once I saw the green in person This was definitely my favorite one give you guys a nice little close-up of the back so you guys can see yes fully Embroidered on the back the flower fully embroidered lettering fully embroidered no printing oversized pockets on the front Silver zip like I said retailing at 80 bucks March 18th 
8 p.m. SampleIND.com. Then for tonight's drop at 8 p.m., you guys know I was in Atlanta over the weekend. We went to the Sneaker Exit event. We had t-shirt and shorts. Now my t-shirt is dirty and is buried somewhere in my dirty clothes, but I'm gonna put a picture up so you guys can see the t-shirt or a video clip. Since we were back in Atlanta, we went with like that Atlanta Braves feel. Now these are the shorts. It's a very lightweight short. Almost feels like a swim trunk. The inside does have your mesh on the inside. I usually wear a size 36, so if you're a 36, go XL. I would say 34, go a large. 32 medium, 30 small, 20 extra small, like that. Got sample right here on the right leg, that Atlanta Braves feel to with the Tomahawk. Then you have the Tomahawk A on the left side. Now this is on the left leg of the shorts. And then on the back, you got one more A. Same A is on the front that you see down here, really small, but just on the back with the all Atlanta Tomahawks. And yes, they do have pockets on the front on both sides and a right back pocket for you. Now I couldn't leave Atlanta with like nothing, so I caught these two Atlanta Thrashers jerseys. Um, this was a team based out of Atlanta, this was a hockey team, and their jerseys are just dope. Like look at that sleeve detail, look at this jersey, the colors are crazy, the navy and blue, I mean you already, you know, if I, if I want to do it, if I really want to do it, I can, I can make this happen. Official CCM business, I got this one for 35 and I got this other one for 35 as well. Um, I think this team is now the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, this team was in Atlanta until about 2011, and then I think it was sold to a team in like Winnipeg, I believe. So CCM back here, official stuff. So I got this jersey just because I liked it. It was the white version, and then he actually had another one with the alternate logos. And this one right here is actually by Pro Player. So they're technically vintage because this team no longer exists. And y'all can see once again that sleeve detail. This jersey. I love the uh, the Arizona Coyotes one, but this is another one that I had never seen this jersey until I seen it at the sneaker exit, and I had to get them. I had to get both of them. Like I said, pro player, pro player Eastern Conference. I mean, same thing. You see his navy blue. If I if I wanted to make it happen, I can make it happen, but it would probably be better with this jersey right here because it's not as much blue. Anyways, man, much love to all the fam, followers, and of course supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram. Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. The Snapchat is bull.cb, by the way. Here, there, blah, 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 of course. Bull.rc. And I'm gonna see you guys on the next video. Let me know if you cop these. Did you pass? Are they ugly? Would you just throw them in the trash? Would you burn them? Would you rock them? Did you cop these today? I was actually pretty surprised to find out that this was a quick strike, but they are still 15, so we'll see how that goes. Anyways, y'all be easy. I'm out. Peace. Yes.